Welcome back, everybody. Let's go ahead and talk about our local weather conditions again. Getting a look at our RV World Yuma Sky Cam overlooking a clear night sky in the Yuma area. And clear conditions are really what we've been noticing most of the day. In fact, really the past couple days as a whole. And they're conditions that we can likely expect to continue going forward. Let's go ahead and get a look now at our radar to show you what activity we've been tracking over the past few hours. And this is really what we've been noticing all day. Not a ounce of activity making its way through the area. Again, a very clear day overall. And it's it's very likely you can expect this to continue as you get a look now at our future cast. You can see that most of the country is expected to see a pretty dry day overall tomorrow as well. Really only southern Florida getting a little bit of moisture there along with Canada as well. But again, for us here in the desert southwest, you can expect some pretty clear conditions coming tomorrow. We'll look now at our current wind speed. You can see that we're dealing with overall calm conditions at the moment and a look at our future winds will show you that those calmer conditions are likely to remain. We could be seeing a little bit of gusts here and there, but overall you can expect those winds to remain around 10 miles per hour or less, with the exception of Ocotillo, which is typically a little bit breezier than the rest of the area. Let's go ahead and get a look now at our air quality index presented to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. This is always a very welcome sight to see most of the cities in the valley at good air quality. You can see it there green across the board from Brawley, Calexico, El Centro, Nyland, and Westmoreland. However, our apologies from Mexicali as we aren't receiving any reading for that area at the moment. A look now at our current temperatures. We begin with Ocotillo sitting at 73 degrees, El Centro at 73 degrees as well, Imperial also at, excuse me, not also, Imperial at 71, Holtville at 72. Overall, those temperatures much more comfortable around this time of day, excuse me, this time of night. Yuma sitting at 77, the foothills at 80. Let's go ahead and get a look now at today's viewer weather photo. This is coming to us from Joe Forrestal, a great shot of the Yuma night sky. And how about the moon lit up there in the background? You've got some plants covering the photo as well. You've also got a little bit of backyard action. Joe, looks like you got a gorgeous patio there. Definitely something I'm envious of. But overall, Joe, thank you so much for getting this photo sent in. It's definitely a good one. And if you have a photo that you're dying to share with us, all you have to do is take out your phone. You can open your camera app. Go ahead and scan that QR code right there on your screen. That'll take you to our homepage over on KYMA.com. Or you can upload your very own photos. Hopefully, I get a look at them. They'll decide if it's good enough for the newscast. Just kidding. I'm not too judgmental. Usually they will end up making it on at one point or another. So again, please keep them coming. I love to see every single one of them. If you have a photo that you'd like to share with us, again, please sure to scan that code. All right, let's go ahead and get a look now at our seven-day forecast. Getting a look at our next week ahead, you can see that those temperatures are getting a little bit more comfortable. You can also expect some breezy conditions to make their way through the area this weekend. Winds of up to 20 miles per hour, so that is definitely something that you'll want to plan for if you're getting some of those weekend events set up, whatever you want to do. Again, be sure you're factoring in some of those breezy conditions. But overall, how about some of these temperatures? You can see that we'll be dealing with that lower 90 degree range over about the next three days or so. But going from Saturday to Sunday, we're going to have a pretty big drop off in temperatures. You can see that we'll actually be dipping 11 degrees. At least that's what we have forecasted right now. So we could be getting very comfortable very soon. You can see that those lower conditions are also, excuse me, those lower temperatures are also expected to stay for about midway through the week. So definitely something to look forward to there. Getting a look now at our seven day forecast for the Imperial Valley. You can see just about more of the same conditions in the mid to low 90s expected for about the next two to three days. And then a major temperature drop off coming on Sunday. So hopefully as we begin to go deeper into the fall season, these temperatures begin to get a bit more comfortable as well. You can also notice those Evening lows starting to get pretty chilly as they stay in that higher 50 degree range. So you may have to start consider bringing a jacket whenever you're heading out during the evenings.